You know what's fun? Messing around in a network and seeing traffic fly around. That's where the learning happens. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to use the tool ARP spoof. It's actually like super easy to use. We're gonna have a lab environment where I'm going to spoof some data and we're gonna watch a target machine be confused and have its ARP cache be poisoned. Then we're gonna take the output from that attack and we're gonna analyze it in Wireshark. Let's dive right in. First thing we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna be running ARP spoof and look at how it functions and then get a good idea of what does ARP poisoning look like when we actually see it inside of a lab environment. On the left side, I've got the machine that's gonna be doing the attack. What I've done here on the right side is I've actually taken a look at what the, the ARP cache is on my target machine and it's a 1.1 and then we also have a MAC address that's associated with that IP address. Now for this lab environment, what we're playing with here is a PFSense as the router, which is a 1.1, and its MAC address is what you can see on the screen right now. Now, I want you to pay close attention to the, the last digit because that's gonna change. That is a 04, so let's look for that information to change. I want my target here to be thinking that the gateway is a different MAC address, and ideally, it's gonna be thinking that the MAC address is the same as my Ubuntu machine. Let's look at the MAC address for my Ubuntu. So we should be seeing the last digit, like all of this really should be in there. But what I want you to pay attention to is that last digit. We're gonna see that change. So it will go from a 04 to a 38. So let's go ahead and run ARP spoof. It's pretty straightforward, honestly. We have ARP spoof. Our interface is gonna be whatever one is associated with your machine. To find that out, you would just do a TCP dump dash D and it would, it would help you out getting that. Our dash T is our target. So that's, what, that's my Metasploitable machine over here. And then router or our gateway here is gonna be what you put in there. So it's in this case, a 1.1. I want this machine to think that this machine is the gateway. That's the point of this attack. Running it, it's doing its job, and now we're gonna check our cache here. It's going a little slower because it's, it's being uh, swamped with ARP data. Okay, and boom, we can see that the 1.1 has the, the date details of ending in the 38. My Metasploitable now believes that the gateway is over here. I've, I've, I've tricked it. Now I want you to also pay attention. I'm gonna stop this ARP spoof here and we're going to run the cache, check the cache again and look at that. As soon as you turn off ARP spoof, this machine goes back to believing the 1.1 the is associated with the, that MAC address ending in the 04, the, the accurate information. This is really important. So that means that you have to be continually running ARP spoof in order for your target, in this case, to believe the false information. But I want to capture all of this data inside of Wireshark because, you know, what a beautiful way to see network traffic if we can look at, capture it, and then analyze it. I love looking at network traffic in Wireshark. It's, it's fun, okay? Because the whole story of what happened is right there inside of this capture here. So we're doing an ARP spoofing. So we're gonna look at, in particular, the ARP traffic. I've done a filter over here to filter out only the ARP traffic because that's what I wanna look at. Let's pay particular attention to the characters in this story. We'll point them out here so that we can see it in action. My Metasploitable machine, that was my target machine, so or my victim. Its MAC address is ending in a C9. So in this capture, Anytime you see C9 at the end of that MAC address, we're dealing with our victim machine. If we see a 04 at the end, that means we're playing around with the gateway in this home lab environment. That's an important player because remember, I wanted to tell my victim that the gateway was a different location. I had to force its cache to fill up with incorrect information. And then, Anytime we see a 38 
in the end of that Mac address, we are dealing with the Ubuntu machine. One thing I was pleasantly surprised about inside this capture is that Wireshark actually did a really important thing for me. And it actually told me that there was a duplicate use of the, the gateway. We could determine that without using um, this obvious clue here that something bad is happening. Like this is a very obvious alert in sense that something bad is happening. Something is being spoofed here. There shouldn't be two IP addresses to that's not normal. Shouldn't have that. Let's look at what is happening. So my attacker sent a ARP packet to the target machine. And in it, it's saying that the gateway 1.1 is at the attacker's MAC address. That's the beginning of our spoofing. You have to be able to force a machine to update its cache with incorrect information. As we saw in the other video, you have to keep ARP spoof running in order for this false information to stay in the target system's cache. Look at the aggressiveness that we're seeing inside of this traffic here. If I hone in on all of the packets that have the C9, where that's where we're talking to our target, we can see that it appears here, it appears here, it appears here, 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 here. We, have, we are seeing inside this traffic in a very short period of time as well that we are, we're constantly having traffic from this MAC address to our target machine. This is clear evidence that ARP spoofing is occurring. Today we learned how to use ARP spoof. Great. It was actually pretty easy, wasn't it? And we also used Wireshark to validate that traffic that occurred and, and learn something new about network traffic and our very useful protocol of ARP. If you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and click on the couple that are on the screen now, and we'll talk to you soon.